In 1919, the Sex Disqualification Removal Act was passed, which enabled women to finally have careers at the bar. Today we'll be looking at membership papers from the archive which relate to Gwyneth Bebb, married named Thompson, who was one of the first women admitted to the inn after the act was passed. Here we have the admission papers of Gwyneth Bebb, who came to public attention in the 1913 landmark case Bebb versus the Law Society, when she challenged the Law Society's refusal to allow women to become solicitors. She lost the case, but her solicitor, John James Withers, founder of the city firm, and her counsel, Stanley Buckmaster QC, later Lord Buckmaster and Lord Chancellor, continued to support her cause, and in 1920 they signed her admission bond for the inn. We also have letters from Gwyneth Thompson when she later makes a petition to the inn's council, asking for exemption from exams she'd already completed at university. In her letter she talks of how, between coming down from Oxford and being admitted to Lincoln's Inn, she has given hostages to fortune, with a young family to take care of, and a full-time job, in addition to being a student. After her petition, the records go quiet, with no call to the bar recorded for her. We learn from other sources that a couple of months after her petition to counsel, Gwyneth Thompson gave birth to a second child on the 10th of August 1921. Sadly, the baby passed away two days after birth, and following a complication during the birth, Gwyneth Thompson also passed away just two months after that, at the age of 31. Her story reveals much about the difficulties faced by women entering the legal profession, even after the act had passed, as well as their struggles before, 